How often do you think about Savannah Marshall? Not often. I don't think about her not often, not, not a lot. Well, look, I think about, I think about Clarissa 24-7. This is the biggest fight in my life. In one word, sum this fight up. <sighs> Huge. Huge. is business. You know, this fight is to add to my legacy. I'm already the best fighter ever in the world. I can cruise. I, I have great stamina, so I can cruise three, four miles and without stopping and just go. But today I was more focusing on my cardio and on my sprints and kind of just keep moving, keep moving. And then I did the sprints with the girls at the end, and that was just to put some fire under my ass and I can get a good time in a 100. And I did pretty good. Those some young, some young fast girls. <laughs> baby, 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 I got the feeling, baby. Thank y'all for the race today. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> Do you love running? That's the way you're gonna be successful at it. Yes, That's it. If, if if you got any job that she don't love to do, it's gonna make it harder for you to do the things that's necessary. All you gotta do is try to be better than what you was yesterday, and you always gonna be better than whoever next to you. Like, never get complacent. Yeah, it, it don't matter if you run around this track one time and you get 20 seconds, you break a world record. You yeah. listen, Zari? It's the next time you come, try to get 19, 18. Do whatever you gotta do to build yourself up. If you got a bad diet or a bad friends, cut them off. Get rid of them. It's hard, it's better, it's better said than done, but it's doable, it's doable. Trust me, I know. When I won the Olympics when I was 17, I was, I, I was only in the 11th grade. I still had two more years of high school left when I got back. But the reason how I've been able to stay on, to stay on top now is because when I went back to school, everybody was like, let's party, let's drink, let's smoke. I'm like, I'm gonna go to the gym. I will see y'all later and y'all, and y'all have a good time. But I always chose the gym, always chose my passion. And I knew that boxing would get me out. How important is it to have female role models? It's extremely important. We need it. We need more, yeah, girl more power. girl, just girl, girl power. Because yeah. we got it. We got it. Yeah. We give, give us a chance and we got it. That's it. <laughs> Agreed. Women's boxing is, it is what it is. It's flying. It wasn't, uh, wasn't like that even two years ago. So the pace is growing is uh, unbelievable. There's real excitement now for the women fights. It's not just a, a man's sport because it's this and that. We've been proved wrong, because I was one of them as well. I thought, you know, this is too brutal for women. I've got daughters, I could never env envisage them being punched in the face. So, you know, so myself included, I've been proved wrong. Try not to step back, go around, yeah? And for whatever I want you to do, Get that foot coming back so you can turn. Yeah? So work on stuff like that. Place your shots as well. Don't just fire for firing sake. Set them up. Relax. And, by the, and uh, go at your own pace. Go for 10. If you can. Well, Cindy, let's see how many. Yeah, listen, she might not want to do 10. I don't know. Let's see. If we can go to 10. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you... I'll see what you like after six. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> she's got another session this evening because she trains twice a day. In this gym, it's 90% boxing and 10% anything else. So. We don't video sparring. It's just a policy we have. We don't, uh, because other people look at it and, you know, we're, we've got things we're working on and game plans and stuff. And, you know, it's, uh, it's all to be shown on the night rather than being, uh, we just don't do, uh, we don't video sparring whatsoever. You're moving your shots nice and light as well and coming behind them. So I'm happy with it. It's good. A lot better. I love training, but this camp's been brutal. It's been, it's been painful. 
And I think because I actually do love training, that's what's got me through it. There's been times when I've wanted to tell Peter to do one. <laughs> and all this, forcing, forcing the power without, look, getting the leverage, stepping there, look, coming round, all that's missing. The natural body flow's missing. If you do this. Because this is she was gym. She was at it for about two years now. And uh, it was when lockdown was on and athletes could train. So it was only me and him. So for about, honestly, about two months, all I'd done was body spa, Huey. And I think that's what brought me on. I think that's what took me to that, that next level. Because then the fight after that was Hannah Rankin when I won the world title. And there was, when I've watched the videos back, there's a massive difference. And I, I think that's what brought me on, body sparring, Huey. I only really spar one, one girl, um, Cindy Nagambia. She's brilliant. I've sparred Cindy for about three years now. She's on the GB squad, so she's hoping to go to the Olympics. There's nothing that Clarissa should bring to the table that someone I won't be able to solve. Nothing. Speed, someone I got speed. Angle, someone I got angle. Head movement, someone I has it. Feet, someone I has it. I mean, trunk, someone I has it. Combination, someone I has it. You name it, she has it all. Timing, distance, Savannah has this. Does Clarissa do anything better than Savannah in the ring? Um, to think about it, no. 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 Hello, my name is John David Jackson. I'm a two-time division world champion, and right, I'm the head trainer of Clarissa Shields. Clarissa and I, we started working together, I'd say about, it's been about three years now. If I said to you, what is Clarissa like? She's crazy. <laughs> she, listen, she, 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 she's, she's, a, she's a barrel of, uh, she's fine. <laughs> you know, she can be one minute happy, next minute mad. <laughs> But all in all, she's, she's, she's a good-hearted person and, you know, she loves to help people. As far as Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall are concerned, it's a big fight, especially for female boxing. Um, it's along the lines of uh, Ali Frazier, the female version of it. And here's another point for the, for the fans they don't know. Clarissa and, and Savannah, we were in London maybe two years ago. And so Clarissa walked up to Savannah and, you know, she said, I hear you want to fight, you've been talking a lot of trash. Savannah didn't say a word. She got, got real humble and real quiet. And that let me know right there, you know, listen, if someone steps to you and questions you, how tough you are, either you're gonna fight or you're gonna fold. And she kind of folded, you know. She got real reluctant and didn't want to say much. That's your time to speak up because your, your opponent's right, right in your face. She didn't do that. So let me know right there that she's not the, the person in here that she says she claims to be. I actually think it's personality clashes because she's come up against girls in the past that, you know, are louder than me and she hasn't slated them like me. So I think it's because she can't get under my skin and that, I think that annoys her. Her last thing she said that I heard, read about, she said if she walked around calling herself the quote, well, her friends would slap her as they should. You have one belt. Please don't call yourself the quote. Please don't. Only people who I think have any right to call themselves the quote is Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. Everybody else, zip it. Savannah Marshall, zip it, miss. You've been pro five years and got one belt. If I was Clarissa Shears, the first thing I'd do is I'd hide that awful necklace in the bin. <laughs> what, the gold necklace? I'd be going necklace. straight in the trash. So you won't be wearing that then? I won't be wearing that. I should slap you. Are you talking about something you want to be the quote? Or, or, or you to go because you beat me 10 years ago. Slap, slap, slap. She's got like a bit of a bravado going on, hasn't she? Because I remember last time in Newcastle, they're all shouting, who are you, who are you? And she was going, you all know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> so she just doesn't get it, does she? That, that's what I was saying about the... Uh, who are you? You all know who I am. The English humour. Yeah. Like she doesn't, under don't, she doesn't get it at all. Well, you know, they talking about this girl supposed to knock me out and supposed to do all this stuff and supposed to finish my career. That's another reason to be motivated to show all of them they don't know about boxing. Could it be immaturity? 
like a super ego thing. But there's one thing for sure, when she's looking at Savannah in that ring, she'll realise that all that talk and all that sayings doesn't mean nothing because she's steely confident and she'll see that when the bell goes. I don't, I don't, I don't ask all y'all in here who thinks she's going to beat me because it don't really matter what y'all think or how y'all feel to me. But I know that all y'all that's doubting me, just make sure that y'all apologize after the fight and say we were wrong. That's it. You ain't got to say, oh, you're the GOAT. Just say, we were wrong, you're the best, and we respect you. That's what I'm saying. No one's interested in what she's got to say because it's the same crap. She's been going on for about, for years. Well, Clarissa throughout her career has been the first in many different things. And it has been her goal from the beginning of her career to take the sport of women's boxing to the next level. So if we look at great American fighters, at the peak of their careers, they did not make the decision to go overseas to fight their rivals. And Clarissa, a true American born and raised champion, has made the decision to go across the pond, thousands of miles away from her home country, hometown, to avenge her only lost against her rival, Savannah Marshall. That says something about the kind of person that she is, what's driving her, and her real goal to be a great, to be a true great. And as she's done as an amateur, as a professional, winning two Olympic gold medals, winning three division championships, two undisputed titles, she is at the peak of her career, and she's chasing greatness, and she really wants to be the best and wants to leave no stone unturned in, uh, in that story. Got any rules in his gym, Savannah? No reggae, wanna? <laughs> Put reggae on before, and he was like, get this off now. No, I don't mind a bit of Bob Marley, he's alright. I can listen to him. <laughs> Just decent music then. Yeah. I'm not into head banging music. So, this is what we're gonna do today. Yeah? We're gonna do a bit of dancing in here to this music, and we're just gonna do our own little thing, as we normally do. Uh, whatever you want. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, today it's going to be uh, pads. We'll do a pad session. We'll finish off with some speed work, some weights, strength, and uh, that should do to finish off the second session for the day. Which doesn't sound a lot, but it is. It's a lot. It's my job to give her that, that confidence, but, you know, a reality in confidence. I'm not interested in giving anybody some pep talk or hyping things up, what's not real. Got to enjoy this game. People who take it seriously don't know the job. They're in doubt. Can't have any doubts. Why are you smiling, Savannah? Is this true? It is true. When you know what you're doing, you can make the fight job look very easy because you know what you're doing. A world level fighter, to get the best out of that fighter, is where you can peel all them layers of self expectation away. then you'll get the best out of that fighter. The best fighter you can have on the planet is somebody that goes in there, he's pretty careless about anything, and then you get the super relaxedness. You get the time in there. The focus is more concentrated because there's no expectation.
has like this never come out to the public this fight before? Never. So no one's ever actually, no one's ever unless actually you've seen it. it or showed them yourself. Do you, do, now, you, do you even have it or not? No. I've watched it though, JB had it. Why would they take the fight off the internet? When have they ever in the history of boxing hid a fight from the internet? You cannot put this fight up on the internet and have the fans watch it and have them decide who won. Because if we do that, this fight dies. Because she supposed to knock me out. She told everybody she destroyed me. She beat me down. She hurt. The footage don't lie. And I have the footage. Look how bouncy, bouncy. I am on my toes. Yeah, not like that, not really. Not like that no more. No. Whereas Clarissa's already got a pro style here. When I got there, I remember everyone talking about this American, this American who was unbeaten. And then I got the draw sheet and it was like, Savannah, you've got the winner of America and India. <laughs> <laughs> you get told every round the score, so she knows she's down here. So she's having to come so out. So she's having to come out and have a go. Oh, oh, wait a minute, just so y'all know, if you can zoom in. The fight started, she didn't have no sweat on it. This third round. I was on her like a pit bull on a goddamn rabbit. I chased her all over the ring. I chased her. She's sweating. Because obviously this was her first ever loss. And it, it's hard for her. Mm, obviously, and she never, yeah. never experienced Ten it Ten year on, she's still whinging. <laughs> Let me go to her face real quick. Because that baby was red. Because I was punching her hard in the face. She's got good feet. What, she's got you? a good job, yeah. About you? She not, doesn't look very strong. Are you... Come here, little skinny arms. Yeah, I know. Look at this. Look at her. Hold in. Hold in. Hold in. Look at her. Hold in, hold in. I had just fired on her before this. Look at her, hold in, hold in. Look at this, hey, okay. Running, 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 running. But you, but you beat me up. I put everything on the line to win that fight. Only thing that wasn't in my favor was the judges. That was it. Clarissa Shields is all about empowerment. She believes that women should have every opportunity that men have and should be rewarded. I think about her the same way I think about Billie Jean King, Muhammad Ali. She's got very, very broad shoulders. She can carry her sport and she can carry a generation of kids and young women and empower them. And what she says is, just do like I do, follow me. Be daring, be yourself. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be except you. Be true to yourself and live your life. Go get what you're entitled to. I only look at who's the top competition. That's how great warriors look. We're not looking for the people who we know we can beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, she holds that a W 2012, but as the years went on, I beat so many girls that beat her. It showed that if she can't beat them, what is she going to do with me? And I'm going to continue. And it wasn't just like, oh, this was the semifinal, this was the girl that was at the top. These were girls who were ranked six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, who she couldn't get past. I knocked them down like bowling pins and was always at the top, strike. If she, you know, beat me up so bad in 2012 and just was unlucky 2012 Olympics, unlucky in 2016, unlucky the world championships both of those years. And now she's just unlucky in the pros, but I, but I just suck. If that's the story we're rolling with, let's roll with it. Train hard, girl, because you ain't for a long ride. You see what she's done to the posters and her faces? Oh, look on your part. Yeah. Oh, she personally victimising this time. Uh, have a lot of lives. I'm laid back. There's not a lot that gets to me. Um, and when some it does, then the note's serious. <laughs> Is it, you've got two guesses. Who two? Who <laughs> she doesn't like on this photo? I thought me and her were friends. <laughs> Roll Let's on. see who's the clown on September the 10th. Exactly. And she's flat on her back. She put on Twitter the other week that I'm a hater, that I want to be a, and I'm obsessed with her or something like that. I've thought she's quite unhinged for a while now. 
I met this little girl come and got tickets off us, and she she gave me one of these. She gave you one as well. Oh, oh she was dead canny. Money. Money. <laughs> oh, I'll open it. She was dead cute. Good luck, because she knew all the best. She made me a bracelet. Each man bless her. Oh. To Savannah, good luck fighting the G Wars. Greatest wally of all time. <laughs> I can't wait to watch. Lots of, lots of love, Faith. Oh. Does she get tickets? Yeah, she got tickets. Oh, bless her. How I old give was she? About six. I give really? her a ticket. Honest to God, she was like this big. I give her one of my t shirts. She's been wearing it for bed. You need to give us one and I'll give it to her. We are. Glass. Oh. Priceless. Inspiring the youth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless her. What advice would you give to young girls who were uh, looking to start out in boxing? If it makes you happy and you enjoy it, do it. It doesn't matter what other people think. It, at the end of the day, it's you. Those people won't be there forever. I've got somebody who's six foot, six foot one, yeah, who can make various weights with ease, which is a gift in itself, who's as bodily strong as some men, you know, with weights, cardio, you know, she's a gifted athlete. The best of Savannah will be too much for anybody. I'll finish with this. If the fight goes the way that you say it's going to go, what do you want Savannah Marshall to say to you afterwards? I would like for her to say uh, she was wrong. And not to belittle herself, but to not acknowledge my greatness, to not ever give me my props. She was wrong for that. This is the biggest fight in my life. As soon as my hand wraps are done, it's when the switch gets flicked. I start getting into that zone, going over things in my head. I'm stood there thinking, yeah, this is it. Go and get it. I see the fight being a tough fight. But I know I will be undisputed middleweight champion by the end of it. You're not gonna beat me. Mm -hmm. I ain't no fuck. I'm not, I'm not scared of you, that's why I'm here. But we don't feel a thing. In our blood, in our blood, in our veins. This is the world we made. This is the world we made. Down goes Marshall. She doesn't beat me, and she didn't perform. And she won again. Just because she's a big puncher doesn't mean that she can knock out the rest of shit. This is the world we made. Sky Sports. Feel it all.